I remember Jason, before we filmed season two, he said, oh, it opens and closes on Nate's eyes. And I was like, ooh, what does that mean? Rupert's just bought West Ham United. No. At the end of season two, there's a bit of a battleground forming between Richmond and West Ham, and that battleground is the pitch. What Nate did, um, no one could have seen coming. And it feels like a huge betrayal. I just felt sorry for him, like I was heartbroken for him at the end of season two. Ted was always really good to him, took him on his wing, like, you know, stepped him up. He made me feel like I was the most important person in the whole world. And then he abandoned me. Nate the betrayer, Nate the son figure. I think Ted is all those things. I think we're all all those things. It's a really bold move by the writers to take a character they deliberately got everyone to root for and then just take it away. It's always good to keep people on their toes, isn't it? Well, hey, next season should be fun, right? Two months have passed since season two, and these characters are shaking everything up. Regarding your old team, AFC Richmond, any idea why everyone is expecting them to finish 20th this season? Probably because there's no 21st. <laughs> we have to rebuild a family because the family was broken. If the team is a metaphor for a society at large or a family, we wanted to see how this family dealt with it. Did you hear what Nathan was saying about you? Yes, ma'am. And are you planning on addressing that? No, ma'am. I don't think Rebecca can quite believe that of all the people that Nathan has gone to, it's effing Rupert. There he is, the wonder kid himself. Rather than proving his worth to the likes of Ted, who's obviously a force for good, he's proving it to Rupert, who's the force for bad. Nathan Shelley, you are a killer. Good morning, BJ! At the beginning, Ted will feel a bit beholden to a flippant promise he made at the end of season one to uh, win the whole thing. Oh, did I really say that? Yes, you did, over there, before you blasted half a litre of Pellegrino in my face. All right. Wait, what happened? Let's go! I think Ted has the opportunity this season to make things better. What do you think we signed Zaba? <laughs> oh, second question. Who is Zaba? Zaba is this once-in-a-generation footballer. Am I to assume that you're going to pursue a notoriously mercurial player you can't afford simply because your ex-husband wants him? Yes. Love that. People are going to see in these characters the growth that they've always wanted to see from season one. What are you doing? I was going to walk you. You came at me too fast. It's really interesting to watch the team grow. Ultimately, that's the story of Ted Lasso, isn't it? You are it. You are enough. Expectations for us are as low as a rattlesnake's belly button. But hey, we got 38 chances to prove all them folks wrong, though, right? It will be as fantastic as the show has been, if not more so. How is it possible? Sport is quite the metaphor. It also makes for a heck of a nickname. <laughs>